Hello everybody and welcome to Chemical Apes. Uh, so for this Subnautica guide I'm going to be showing you where to locate lithium, the best locations. Now there are a number, a high number of locations. The first one that I'm going to be showing you is to start off with you'll come across around about 10 pieces, maybe more of lithium. That's going to kick you off uh, and get you going, uh, get those upgrades for your seam off whatever you need really the second location is going to be a little bit more advanced uh, and it's allow you going to it's going to allow you to get hell of a lot more uh, lithium so where do we need to go where do we need to start from now in my guides i always start from one location we, then we know the distance we know the exact direction we can't we don't want to start from the lipod because the lipod spawns at different locations every time you start a new game effectively so you could be 200 meters over there you could be 200 meters over there so where we're going to be starting from is this coral tube here which is sticking out of the water you can't really miss it it's in the safe shallows and it's obviously at the back end of the aurora now there is another set over there just be careful you don't start from there start from here now we're going to be going one and a half clicks left of northwest and we're going to be going around about 1050 meters depth wise we're going to be going 175 meters down uh, however if you have lipod 13 then please go to that lo location um, what do we need for it well i wouldn't recommend doing it in anything else other than the seam off purely for Welcome oxygen it's not to say that you can't do it but it's just really not advisable um, and what else do we need to be wary of the the biome that i'm taking you to is a safe biome um and as mentioned it is a good starting point for lithium uh, it's not to say that the lithium that i get on this video will be the exact count that you get you may get a little bit less you may get a little bit more but it is a very very good place to go um so as I said, one and a half clicks left of northwest. You're going to be going straight through the kelp forest. Now, like I said, do follow the directions and the starting point because if you don't, then you could venture too far right, uh, which is too far north, or you could go too far west. Now, if you do that, you're going to either one go into ghost, ghost leviathans, or two go into the ghost reapers. Uh, sorry, uh, Reaper Leviathans. You don't want to be doing that. So, like I said, stick close. So, as I mentioned, if you keep on going until you hit Live Pod 13, uh, but other than that, just keep on going. So, you're going to hit this mushroom, what's called the Mushroom Forest Biome. You may have come across it before, which is great. And then, what you'll see is this huge structure this huge mushroom tree uh now on the left hand side is lipod 13 and as you can see we are around about 1050 meters from the coral now if you wanted to you could always leave a beacon uh where i've left the beacon from the starting point and then you can keep checking your distance so once you're here there we go large deposit of lithium now you can actually you you can actually use a uh, prone suit drill to drill that uh, if you have the prone suit there's quite a few large deposits around here if you're looking for the prone suit or the drill arm check on these videos shown above but other than that we're going to go clockwise around this tree line here and what we're looking for is a channel So there we go, there's your channel. Now, as I mentioned, you may get more, you may get less. What's always handy to have here, that's your first lithium. What's always handy to have here is a torch as well. Um, there's your second. Now, what you've got to also look out for, third, is shale outcrops. They also give you lithium, they can give you diamond, they can give you gold. Um, but there's a, there's a chance of lithium. So, numerous pieces there. Um, 
that's another one, that's another one. And then the channel itself is quite intricate. So I'll take your time, um, just effectively going through this channel, checking all corners. You can easily, easily miss it depend depending on render distance, that sort of thing. So that's the first location, guys. You should find quite a bit more around this location, as I mentioned. But that's it. So I'm going to take you to the second location. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more advanced, but you're going to get a hell of a lot more lithium. Catch you in two. Okay, guys, so we're now looking at our second location. And this is going to be a little bit more advanced. So what do we need for this? We need depth module Mark II for the CMOF. If you've got that, then you're good to go. Uh, high High capacity tank is needed. Ultra high capacity tank would be beneficial. Um, and that is pretty much it. Uh, where do we start from and where do we go? Uh, again, please start from the coral tubes from sticking out from the safe shallows. Uh, don't start from the LiPod because you'll end up somewhere where you shouldn't be. Um, and in terms of distance and direction, we're going to be going around about 1600 meters from this starting point and we're going to be going 350 meters deep compass wise we're going to be going slap bang between south and southwest and that's it so as i mentioned guys 1600 meters if you need to leave a, uh, a little beacon from here to give you an indication of how far you've traveled and you keep looking back on it then please do uh, just call it starting point. It's always a good way to do it. Okay, so south between south and southwest, right in the middle. Just keep on going. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, right. Okay, so in terms of dangers and whatnot, obviously nothing is ever safe within subnautica. As I'm sure you're sort of becoming very much aware. Um, Ghost Leviathans sort of can roam around this area. Now, if you do sort of go in this straight path, you shouldn't come across them. I'm not saying that you won't. So what I always say is, before you go on this mission, do save. Uh, warpers are highly likely, uh, and they, became, they can become a real, real problem. And that's pretty much it. But Ghost Leviathan Warpers, you know, you, you sort of you're in bad bad territory there okay so once we've come around about 630 650 meters away from the starting point should start dropping off nicely make sure you keep between south and southwest and we're going to be hitting the grand reef we know it's a grand reef because of obviously the balls okay so this guys is where you need to be careful of the Reaper, uh, the Ghost Leviathan, which is just there, and the Whopper. So, if you see this, guys, just give him a real wide berth. He may take a chunk out of you, but just go as fast as you can in the seam off. And it's typical, isn't it? Really typical. Now, there are quite a few places for these sea treaders. Um, but the sort of the, the path, the sea treaders path biome does span quite extensively across sort of the Grand Reef uh, and multiple other biomes. But but effectively, you know, you, you're running into dangerous territory. So keep on going, guys. Just make sure you keep at the 350 mark. Don't go any deeper than that because uh, you're going to get very very much lost um, right between south and southwest. Lots of frags around here, guys. Um, obviously, with Subnautica, it tends to be the deeper you go, the better the the sort of the treasure, the goodies that you get, if you like. But south and southwest, so 1,600 meters from the main starting point. We're nearly pretty much there. Just to make sure. And here we go, guys. So you're on what's the, the called the start of the sea treaders path so at this point you want to get out get into the sea glider and then what these guys do they effectively churn up lithium 
uh, well sorry shale now the shale as demonstrated in the earlier video gives you lithium it gives you diamond it gives you gold it is a very very good idea one to give these guys a bit of distance but two to bring some sort of storage because you're going to need it it is unlimited effectively uh, you'll either get shale diamond or gold and it's on and on and on so guys i hope you liked the video uh, if you did why not like subscribe and that's it ciao for now bye bye